Hello again there YouTube. Uh, welcome to my latest video and my first one in high def. Uh, hopefully this one gets uploaded. I've been having a couple of problems with the camera. <laughs> okay, so here uh, I have a new battery box which I have built uh, specifically for uh, having mobile power at a festival. Uh, now the box consists of a standard battery box from eBay. Uh, into that I have put a high power 12 volt marine lighter socket. Uh, and I've also added on a low power three way just cheap lighter socket port. Also we have down here an XLR input. This is used for connecting the solar panel. Um, I haven't bought that yet, but eventually this will be connecting to a 20 watt panel which will have a male connector so it can slot in and out properly without any need for screwdrivers or anything like that. Now on the other side of the box I have an accessory port. Um, now these are linked directly to the batteries inside which means I can either charge it from the mains using these points, uh, jump start cars if need be, or possibly I can link this to other batteries to gain more capacity if and when I need it. Now inside we have the old charge controller from the shed. Now I've had to open this up and resolder some of the joints inside um, for whatever reason they had become quite unreliable. Sometimes it was getting power, sometimes it was not. Um, since I've opened the whole thing up and resoldered it, that seems to be working much better now. Now the heart of the system, and the reason I built this myself, is if you look around on eBay or in the shops, uh, the mobile power systems they offer, the biggest I could find was only a 40 amp hour system. With all the batteries in here, this is a 70 amp hour system or around about 35 amp hour usable, um, depending on how much I drain it. Now that is achieved by having three uh, 12 amp, 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries linked in parallel to one another and then also linked to this 34 amp hour 12 volt standard car battery. Now the sealed batteries I got for free from uh, a very nice person, whereas this car battery is what used to be in my van and so now I'm repurposing it for this. Now all the wiring in here has been done by myself. All wires have been crimped, they've been soldered and they've been heat shrunk. And all the major wiring is 10 gauge which is plenty for the kind of power I'm planning to draw and I have not had any issues since I've linked all three batteries together. As you can see it is currently sitting at just over 12.5 volts and this is after about five days of sitting. Now the, all these batteries are linked to the lighter socket. As you can see it has a 10 amp fuse fitted and depending on what I need I have the low power output on the three-way one because of the size of the wiring whereas the ones I've wired myself to this one port this will be used for high power devices. Now the plan for this is the high power section is going to be used to run a 12 volt 35 watt beer fridge uh, for the length of time that I'm at the festival and then the, the three way socket here will be used to charge my phone and to run 12 volt low wattage CFL lighting. Um, also I may be running a stereo from this which I've yet to build as well. Um, if I do build that I'll get a video up and show you guys. Uh, now the box itself with the batteries is very very heavy so the plan is going to be to put this on some form of trolley to take it through the fields of the festival with my tent and then this box will stay in the tent the solar panel will plug in to the socket down here and be left outside the tent and I can then run my fridge, my mobile phone, uh, lighting and even a stereo all off this battery which means I have 35 amp hours of capacity in the box if I drain it to 50% plus whatever a 20 watt solar panel will give me which is far more than what's available if you just buy something off the shelf. 
Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this first high def video and any questions feel please feel free to ask. Thanks. Bye bye now.